In this video, I'm going to show you a little formatting trick that will allow you to uh, give the illusion of having a tab control with multiple colored tabs. So, for example, I've got this form that has uh, a menu of reports that the user can run. So, I've got customer reports here. Uh, location reports and revenue reports and as you can see it looks like I have basically a tab control that allows me to uh, have different color tabs now we all know that a t the tab control provided by access doesn't give you this ability you can't create different color, different color tabs with the tab control this is just an illusion and I'll show you how I did this so the original form looked like this. It was basically three option groups on a form and three buttons that controlled each option group, each menu of reports. And so I wanted to bring them together, make this uh, a little bit more intuitive and make it a little livelier. So the first thing I did was create three labels. So let me go ahead and put design view and I'll create three labels. All right, so each label has uh, covers each category of reports customer reports location reports and revenue by period and I again as you can see I selected the formatting the border and um, the color of the font so all this is good so now I'm gonna go ahead and select them all align left okay so now they're all in a good line so now what I do is I take this first combo box or option group I'll take the label and delete it and I'll do that on all the option groups so all the labels are gone so now I'll take this first option group and align this to kind of match the width of all three labels and you'll want to make sure that the border here is flat and black border okay so now I can get rid of these command buttons next just go ahead and highlight them and delete them and let's do a little formatting here or a little restructuring we're going to select the two that we haven't formatted yet first make them black border flat then we're going to select all three frames at once right click size widest makes them all three the same width and then right click again size tallest makes them all the same height so now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that each one of these frames has a unique name. So I'm going to right click on the first frame, go to properties, name, I want to name this one frame 3. Second one, name this one frame 2, and this first one frame 1. Okay. So we have label 1, LBL2, label 2, LBL3, then we have frame 1, frame 2, and frame 3. So each one of these labels matches each one of these frames respectively. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on frame 1 and color it the same color as LBL1. Frame 2, same color as LBL2, and frame 3, same color as LBL3. Perfect. Now we're just going to do a little bit of font coloring, change the color of the font. And OK. So now we can start moving all these on top of each other. All these frames on top of each other give them the illusion of being all one box. Now we're going to add two more things. We're going to add a, com a command button here and I added one called get report. I right click on it, go to properties, make sure that I name it btn run. Now that I've got that, I can do the second thing, which is add a box. And the box is nothing more than this control right here, the rectangle control. And uh, I formatted it, made it uh, transparent border, uh, flat, right click on it, go to properties, call it uh, box 41. Um, it came up as box 41. I could have named it anything, but I just left it as box 41. Uh, what's important is that I make sure that I remember what the name it is. Now I just put kind of put it back up here. Um, my goal here is to hide the line that is created by the label border. And this is just going to help in the illusion that this is all one uh, kind of object, which is a tab control object. Once I have those two last things here, uh, I'm ready for the code. Now the event that's going to uh, drive all the code here is going to be the on-click event of all these three labels. So label 1, label 2, and label 3, when we click on them, that's what's going to be the events that are going to drive these codes. So we're going to first click on label 1, right-click, go to properties, and on-click, 
and we're going to type in a procedure. And this is the procedure basically saying the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set focus to btn run. Uh, that's the command button. We're going to set focus on that. That's just so we don't get any kind of conflicts when we're trying to change colors and make things visible. So that's good. Um, so the, second thing, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to take box 41. Remember that's that that's that box right here that we've kind of added in as a um, as a way to hide the uh, the bottom borderline of the labels. Uh, we're going to change the back color of that to 1005322, which is the back color of the first label. Then we're going to do a couple things. We're going to uh, change frame one to visible equals true, frame two to visible equals false, and frame three to visible equals false. That basically saying uh, that only frame one is going to be visible. Next, basically go back here, click on label two, right click, go to properties, on click event, and we're going to do the same thing as we did up here, except you know we're going to say button uh, btn run set focus, set focus to the command button, box 41. We're going to set the back color to the color of label two this time, and again frame two we're going to make visible. Frame 1 and 3 we're going to make visible false. So that takes care of uh, the actions for label 2. Uh, go back, right click on label 3, properties, uh, event procedure, and again we have the same situation for label 3. Back color, same color as the third label. Frame 3 visible true, 1 and 2 visible false. Very simple code. Okay, close the form out. Make sure you save it. Now we're going to design the form and go to properties event and then on open we're going to have an event on open now the whole idea behind this is saying hey listen when the form opens up uh, us, the, that particular tab control illusion that we're going to put in there should have a certain state and that default state is going to be uh, let's pretend that the user has selected label one already so we're going to copy label one's code we're going to come up here and paste it in and basically when the form opens up it's going to be as if the user has already selected label one alright so we're ready to test this out let's go ahead and click on it and as you can see when it opens up the default selection is LBL1 just like we planned and as I select on each tab it gives me the illusion of a tab being selected now uh, the idea here is not to create the exact same thing I created here. The idea here is to show you that you know, with, with a little imagination, a little bit of thinking outside of the box, and a little handful of code, you can actually create your own illusion. Uh, it could be a tab illusion, it could be some other illusion, but uh, like I said, you can kind of use your imagination and see what else you can come up with.